Hello. This part is about um, airline sectional view editing. Uh, you know, um, general hatching rule says whenever solid parts are cut by cutting plane, then they are highlighted to be highlighted with equally spaced inclined lines, hatching lines, section lines. But uh, the special hatching rule says that uh, it is not applicable for some machine parts and or uh, features. One of them is uh, ribs. Uh, whenever ribs or webs are cut lengthwisely, then their sectional views ought to be shown as if there were no sectioning. The views of sectional views of ribs or webs, in other words, uh, ought to be shown through their exterior appearances. After creating uh, the aligned sectional view for this revolved body, here it is, this is the top view and this is the sectional view, aligned sectional view. Uh, it is in accordance with uh, the general hatching rule. It's okay, but uh, for the special hatching rule, it is to be edited. Yes, the parts of the image corresponding to the views of the ribs, this and that, uh, are to be shown to their exterior appearances. Unfortunately, inventor creates the sectional view of uh, the parts, not a matter it is for those, the special hatching or uh, the special hatching rule is applicable. Uh, obeying to the general rules, hatching rules, hatching rule, cross-hatch the solid parts. To be able to edit such a view, well, uh, apply Ascari's method. But first on this um, axular, this uh, aligned sectional view, uh, one more uh, everything is needed, it is about this visible line, this thick line. Well, inventor creates whenever uh, we cut the body, changing the direction uh, using an offset cutting plane, then um, inventor unfortunately creates the images of uh, the intersections formed by the cutting plane, as if cutting plane were a real feature. So, well, this visible outline is to be hidden, hide it. Bring the cursor to the vicinity of this visible line and right click the mouse and then take the visibility of it. Now, after this correction, then, uh, well, start to apply the Ascari's method. First, hide the cross-hatching lines. Left click, indicate the uh, hatching lines, selecting any of them. Right click the mouse and from the menu it will appear, select hide option. After hiding the hatching lines, then, well, uh, indicate the view move the cursor to its vicinity and after seeing the dot the rectangle around it can indicate it yes click and then click on start sketch button along place views ribbon take the image to sketch mode and then in sketch mode to be able to um, uh, enable the software to snap cursor whenever the cursor is near to the characteristic points. Uh, it may be needed in creating lines, just indicating a certain characteristic points as the starting or as the ending point. Uh, project geometry process is needed. Apply project geometry process, have the projection, all the projection. Uh, it is necessary also to find this button. It is to be clicked for hatching uh, the surfaces to highlight that it's a sectional view. 
uh, yes again project geometry process is a must okay then click on project geometry process icon and then uh, using the windowing method select uh, all the things on the view for having their projections yes after having the projection of the projection then um, bound the views of the ribs okay well in this example the boundary lines are straight lines so clicked on a uh, straight line creation process icon start the process and then well from this terminal point to such a point extend such a line create such a line it is uh, in the end going to be one of the boundaries of the uh, one of the ribs okay restart it then while well, the other boundary starts from here and extends to there okay and then apply trimming process trim this further extensions now this triangular area corresponds to the surface of the region of uh, the uh, the rib uh, do the same thing for the other rib draw the boundary lines yes and then trimming this extended parts locate this corner okay and then uh, after uh, bounding the the parts of the image those corresponds to the views of the ribs then apply hatching process clicked on this button and then well show this surface it is one of the solid surfaces show this one it is that of the other this one and that one well according to special hatching rule not the images of the ribs but the other solid parts the images of the other solid parts which have been cut by the cutting plane are to be cross-hatched okay uh, if the inclination angle is uh, not suitable as 45 or the space between the hatching lines not so uh, suitable then uh, in this dialog can change the angle and or the space value but it's okay for this size of view uh, and then say okay and then finish the editing stage Whenever normally uh, have a line in sketch mode, you know, uh, these are going to be uh, thin lines. Uh, but say the boundary line, according to the format, uh, is to be a full line. Okay, then increase the thickness. Bring the cursor uh, onto one of the boundaries at any point, And then right click the mouse. And from the menu, it will appear. Select properties option okay in this dialog well drop the list of the standard line weight values thickness values and select 0.5 millimeters okay of course uh, it is uh, a must uh, show the necessary symmetry axis annotation longitudinal axis for the drill in the design there is a drill over here and that is the lateral side view of uh, the drill on the sectional view and these are the lateral side views of the remaining parts of the drills in the rim okay and of course uh, while well show the necessary symmetry axis uh, on the uh, other side image well for the entire of the body horizontal vertical axis but for the distributed drills well you know radial and circumferential axis clicked on this button and then well show the boundary of the main body 
about the center, we have a distribution. Okay. This is to say that uh, circumferential axis is about the center of the body and then indicate the, uh, the views of the distributed members one by one. Yes. Then the rest is achieved by the software. Start seeing the circumferential and radial symmetry axis. Indicate the first member of the family once more time and then right click the mouse and then say create. Yes, the circumferential axis and radial axis. Of course, this is not the end of the uh, the detail view drawing stage. The following stage is just on dimensions. Okay.